you guys are welcome uh, once again. So just 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 like I promised, I'm gonna be giving you guys um, an assignment uh, for the day. But before I proceed further, I would like to give you some basic knowledge um, that is required uh, to successfully execute this assignment. So I wasn't uh, able to show you guys how to open a Python, how to create a new Python file and start a new program. So let me just do that. So in order for you to start coding in Python, like this is a PyCharm window, you can go to file, new project, then by default, the project is untitled. So you can give it a name, let's say assign assignment, then come down to this arrow, click on this arrow. So we are gonna be using um, um, pip environment. So by default, no interpreter is selected. So click on the existing interpreter, click on the drop down, and then this is gonna be selecting the Python that you recently installed into your machine. So Python 3.7, and then click on create. It's not empty, would you like? Yes. Um, this window. So a new project has been created to us. So as you can see, project, then here are some folders and files that you can navigate. So as your programs becomes big and large, you're gonna be seeing a lot of um, folders here. So in this folder, we can right click on it and then create a new file. So we can name this file uh, assignment as well. And then we click enter. So it's gonna open a new Python window for us. So in our tomorrow's class, we're gonna be checking out some cool features of Python, but for the sake of uh, time and I'm actually doing this for the assignment. So we have a terminal uh, from the bottom left. A terminal is just like a little window into our program. So it displays whatever that we are doing in our program. Like for example, if we print or display something in our program, it's gonna show in our terminal. And whenever we encounter an error um, in our program, PyCharm automatically display those errors in this terminal and it's gonna automatically point us to where we made a mistake. So without any further ado, let's begin um, our assignment. So uh, in Python, let me show you some little uh, cool functions built into Python, which are necessary for this assignment. So we have a print, um, you can collapse this, uh, this navigation bar by clicking on this. So we have a print function which is basically a function that is built into Python in order to display whatever that is in between these two parentheses or in other words, brackets. So it accepts um, some parameters, like for example, uh, I can print a string in between these uh, parentheses, let's say, uh, welcome to Noesa uh, Python class. So in order to run this program, just go to your navigation bar, click on run, and then select run, and then click on the name of your file, which is a Python file. So, and then boom, if we check the terminal, we can see that welcome to Nuesa Python class has been printed uh, in the terminal window. So you can literally print anything. Let's print another one and see, uh, print, uh, uh, print my name is uh, Amir and I am a programmer. So there's another button for us uh, to quickly run our program, which is located in the top right side of your window. So if you click that, as you can see, Python uh, interpreter goes line by line interpreting your programs. So first, the Python interpreter comes to the first line of your program and sees that you have a print function with the parameter or with the string welcome to the SR Python class and it displays it on the terminal. And then it goes to the second line and then checks there's a print function or there's a print, oh, sorry, there's a print function and there's a string. Uh, my name is uh, Mohamed and I'm a programmer and then it prints out the terminal. So. 
we have another cool uh we have another cool python uh building uh function in python for collecting inputs which is necessary for your assignments so uh input so input function is a function that is used for collecting um values from your user for example it accepts a parameter a parameter is nothing but anything that you can pass to a function like anything that you can pass to a function and it accepts a prompt to, to display for the user like for example in a website when you're registering um for this class uh maybe maybe you have uh you have an input field that is requesting for your name so there's a little prompt in the input field which is name like enter your name so that is basically the same with this one so input it accepts a string so you can basically write a string is nothing but a sequence of characters you can write a string uh in between single quotes or double quotes so let's write uh enter enter your age so this syntax looks okay but if i press run i see enter your age and uh i enter my age which is let's say 10 or 19. i press enter i see nothing because i did not save it uh in memory and i did not print it to the terminal i don't see anything the program just stops executing with zero error so if i like i can be able to save this um input that i just collected from the user and then maybe display it or print it to the terminal so you can do that by variables so variables are actually containers uh, for storing data in our program which we can use uh, to view and manipulate maybe later or somewhere in our programs so they are just uh, containers that you can save anything you want and then later on you can use it in your programs so we can create a variable um, uh, user name and assign it the value of input so in the next line just like we previously um so we can use the print function um and then we can pass it the parameter uh username username so what we are basically telling the interpreter is we are passing an input function with the with the prompt enter your age and we are saving it to this location username so username is the indicator for that uh, variable. So whenever we want to use this input function in a program, we just call the name of its container, which is username. So then we we pass that username to the print function. So we're basically telling this print function, hey, we want you to take this username, which is this, and what is the username, what's the value in the username, is an input function with the prompt enter your age. So whatever the user enters to this function, it's going to be saved in this username and it's going to be passed down to the print function or to be printed. So let's run this program and see what happens. Enter your age, 22. So we get 22. So as, but notice that there's no space in between enter your age and 22. That's, basically, that's because whatever you pass into an input function or a print function, the interpreter prints or displays the exact thing that, are, that is in between the, uh, the brackets. So we can add a little space here and then run the program one more time. Enter your age, um, 22. Enter, so we see 22. There's a little space in between um, age and the value of age. So let's, this, let's take this program to the next level. So we can actually create a little program that's going to be asking our name and then our age then printing out to the terminal so let's create a variable or let's create a container um name or user name and assign it the value um collect the value from the user as an input enter enter your name and then with a little space so and then we're going to be collecting another um value from the user which is uh age um and we're going to be using an input function to collect that and here as you can see this is an intelligence which is built into pycharm that is actually telling you is it this function that you want to use and if you notice in between the bracket we see prompt 
which is basically telling us you can pass a prompt to this input function. So you can just press enter and then you can pass a prompt. You can pass a string as a prompt, notifying the user the value that we are needing from him or requesting from him. So enter your H. So then we can print um, your name is and then comma. Then we pass the variable name, sorry, username, and then comma. Then we pass a string and your H is. Then we pass H. Even though this program contains some error, I'll, I'll, I'll just want to introduce it, quickly introduce you guys to errors. If we run this program, we get an error. So syntax error. So we have broken or we have violated the rules and regulations uh, that is built into Python. So we, are, we, we have made a mistake. This, this is actually incorrect. So there's this thing that is called concatenation or joining in programming. So I will add, and it is part of your assignment. I would like you guys to Google what is concatenation in programming or in Python. So we can be able to concatenate like plus. We can use the plus sign to concatenate H, and we can use the plus sign to concatenate our H. So let's run the program one more time. Enter your name. Enter your H, 22, and then we get your name is name and then your ages or age so i would like you guys to create a program that is going to for your assignment um a program that is going to collect um use the user's name and it's going to collect their age um in numbers for example you can ask the user his age and the user might answer let's say 20 and then the program is going to return the user, the, the bad year of the user. For example, let me let me just show you guys a little bit of what, what I'm what I'm referring to. Like um, I just collected um, the age from the user. So let me create a variable called birth birth year and assign it the value um, age minus or oh, sorry how do you calculate bad year you calculate bad year by subtracting the current year which is 2022 from the bad year which is the age so let's delete this age instead of displaying the age you can display and your and your bad year is then plus plus bad year let's run the program one more time what is your name? Um, Nuesa, what is the age? 22. So we are having a type error again. I'm introducing you guys to errors here. So type error, unsupported operand type for int and str. We're going to cover this tomorrow. We have data types in Python which are integers and strings. So the reason why we have this error is because I'm trying to add a string to an integer like i'm trying to add a sequence of characters which is a string to numbers so python does not allow that so in order to circumvent this problem i will just convert uh this part here there's a function that that's going to help us circumvent this issue i'll just convert this from this uh part here variable to a string sorry str and then run my program one more time what is your name, MC, what is your age, things two. And we are getting another error. Most recent called line three. You see Python is called, is even showing us the line that we made the mistake. Okay, so what we're doing actually, this age variable is collecting this input as a string, and we are subtracting a number from a string, which is not allowed in Python. So we can simply circumvent this by converting this age variable to an integer, which is a whole number, an integer, we all know that an integer is a whole number. So and then run our program one more time. What is your name? Taka, what is your age? 22. And we here we go. 
your name is Kaka and your birth year is 2000. So I would like you to create a similar program like this one. Let me get rid of this program. Um, the, this assignment is going to be like, I want you to create a program that is going to ask the user his name, um, his age, and then And then I want you to create an algorithm. Sorry, then maybe you, you add the weight. Sorry, the weight of the user. So, and then create an algorithm that is going to convert the age just like we did in our, uh, in our pre previous program, that is going to convert the age to the birth year. And then it's going to convert this weight Sorry, you can collect the uh, weight in kg. For that, you can even use an input function and then prompt enter your enter your enter your weight in kg. So you're going to be collecting the user's age, sorry, user's weight in kilogram, and then you're going to be returning the you're going to be converting the weight in kilogram to LBS. So I'm not going to be telling you guys how to convert um, weight from kg to LBS. Google is your friend. You can always Google that. How do you convert, or what is the formula for converting weight uh, from kg to LBS? And then I want you to display it to the terminal, um, to the, to this terminal window, just like we did. Your name is Kaka, and your birthday is the So I want you guys to display something like um, something like your name is um, then the person's name. Let's say, for example, my name. And um, sorry, your birth your birth year is let's say two thousand, and your weight your weight in kid your weight in LBS is let's say for example uh one hundred uh, LBS. So your assignment is going to be collecting the user's name collecting the user's age, and then collecting the user's weight in kg, and then converting it to LBS, and then printing um, this to the terminal. Your name is, then your name, and your birth year is, then the birth year, convert the age to birth year, which we just did in our previous program, and then convert the weight from LBS, from kg to LBS. So if you face any difficulty, please uh, do not hesitate um, to post your difficulty uh, in the forums, and I'll, and I'll attend to that. When you're done with your assignment, just take a screenshot of your assignment and then share it to the forums. Or if you want to be techy, or if you want to uh, be a whiz, you can share a file of your Python program um, with us via WhatsApp, or you can even upload it to Google Drive and then share the link with us. You know, to save your program, just you can go to file and then save us then and then please do not do not the location of, of your file which is from for mine PyCharm projects and then name of my project and then press ok so that will be it so see you guys tomorrow don't worry maybe this is a little bit tedious for the absolute beginners but for the intermediate ones among you guys are going to definitely find this program very very simple and beginner friendly so see you guys tomorrow um have a good night and then see you tomorrow bye, -bye.